Bass. Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how it purchases them and why. Further, I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. This time's up. The Squire Classic Vibe 60s Competition Mustang from 2021. It's a short scale. This base is made in Indonesia. The color is Lake Placid Blue. The body material is popular. The finish is gloss poly uterine. The neck shape is a C shape. It has 20 narrow tall frets. The fretboard is an Indian laurel and the radius is 9.5 inch. The tank material is oh, maple <laughs> tinted gloss urethane finish. The scale length is 30 inches. And the pickup configuration is a single split coil pickup. The controls, only two, the master tone and master volume. The hardware is nickel and the bridge is a four saddle Mustang bridge. Uh, it has also strings through the body. The pickguard is a three ply uh, parchment. Okay, what did I buy this bass? Ever since the passing of the original status quo bass player Alan Lancaster, I had my eye on a Mustang bass. He played that bass uh, almost his entire career. After I had done a tribute to him, uh, check it out here, I really was on the lookout. In the end, I bought this bass brand new at Bucks Music Shop, May 2022. Uh, what has Squire to say about these bases? Well, small in stature, the classic 560s competition Mustang bass packs a punch of incredible tone, courtesy of the Defender designed Only Go split coil pickup. Small hands will appreciate the thought short, sorry, the short 30 inch scale. Slim, comfortable C-shaped neck profile uh, with an easy playing 9.5 radius fingerboard and narrow tall frets. This throwback Squire model also features 9060 inspired headstock markings, rich looking nickel plated hardware and a slick vintage tint gloss neck finish for an old school vibe. Okay, let's listen uh, to this bass. First the bass solo and then the bass in context with drums and guitar.
As usual, the signal flow was once again, as usual, once again, the base direct into my UAD Apollo Twin, which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the Rock A preset. What do I think of this base? Well, uh, as I already owned a court short scale base, I knew what to expect from this one. Uh, but despite that, I was really surprised uh, by the punch that this base gives. Uh, what's, what's missing in the low department makes it up with the punch. It doesn't sound too far away from a precision base. Uh, and I'm pleased to add this one to my collection. That's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and see you. Bye bye.